No. $92? The one that you thought was great? It's not bad, but it's not more than $92. It crap. I like, like, rich, dark, red wine. Hey guys, what's up? Today is Tuesday, July 20th, and it's my first day of vacation. I'm so excited. Um, I really plan on maximizing my vacation. I'm not going to go anywhere or do anything, which is unfortunate, but I really want to save money and make sure that this boy, oh my God, Bugsy, enough. <laughs> I really want to save money and make sure I have my priorities and things like that in order before I, you know, start taking trips and stuff like that post COVID, if you will, even though I'm so anxious to go somewhere or do something. Hey, oh my God, he's, he's killing me. He sees these people eating. And so he's like barking at them. He's ready to get out the car. So I'm going to take you guys along. Let's go and check out this farmer's market and have some fun. Pretty. record and put some stuff on my page so people can come see you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This is my favorite. Look at all oh, this stuff you. he has, Are guys. You this um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you know why I always come to you? I don't have Eric with me today. The, yeah, I didn't bring Eric today. I have the dog. I have my dog with me and just kind of doing a little shopping. I still have a bunch of stuff though. I know yeah, I still have um You know, last time I didn't 
recognized because the mask. mask yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. How are you? Good, good. Hanging in there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is Eric is, uh, is it Eric not here today? No, he's at home. He's at home. Thing later on. Love the greenery and the vibes. Yes. 
Yes, ma'am. Center, Slope Garden here in Concord. Excuse me, I am looking a hot mess this morning. Wow, look at those! That's huge and bushy. Yeah, the bee good. master. That looks like the house with tomatoes right there. Mm -hmm. What kind are those? Bee master. Um, Ooh, it's hot out here. Um. What kind is this? Bags on top. Ace. Is that what it says? Tomato Ace. Look at the fruit on here compared to the fruit on there. They're bigger. They're already. Yeah. And these are a little more tiny. Yeah, we can do that. Same thing. Yeah, it looks so. Oh, it's nice. Nice. Yeah. Which one? That one. Or that one? Yeah. All right. So today is Tuesday, July 20, or no, Thursday, July 22nd, I think. It's my third day of vacation and I am at the nursery looking for some tomatoes. I mean, oh my God. I'm here at the nursery just seeing what I can find. I know I want to get some basil and other herbs and stuff. Huh? Yeah, they're like 30 bucks. This is their greenhouse. It's so pretty in here. Something like this is so cool. Remember I told you? I wanted something like that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Fucking selling it for $500. Are you kidding me? All you have to do is just put some little shit in there to sit there. To let them sit in. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Put some soil and just throw your plants in there. $500? Look at this, guys. Come on now. You can, you can find a pallet on the side of the road for $0. They don't want to see that. Nowhere near that. 
one more in labor, though. Okay. I've always So we have just found a substitute for cilantro, which, what is it called? It says culantro. Oh, culantro, which is really good for the summertime because it's slow bolting and cilantro bolts really fast during the summertime because of the heat. So we just ripped off a, a couple leaves to try it and it's so freaking good. It literally tastes just like cilantro. Wow. I'm shocked. All right, we got more sage over here. I think I do want to get one of these things of sage. No, I already have some. Tarragon. Your boy Gordon said we need tarragon. <laughs> we have French tarragon. No, no, it's not. It's hot. It's hot on the cusp. Mm, it definitely, it definitely made it a uh, side dish instead of a main course. Mm -hmm. So you know, I like to eat my regular food and then dip into that rice mm -hmm. to add like that little spice to it. Mm, so good. So I went to the garden center and I kind of did a little thing. This baby right here, that's touching the roof, is a lime tree. <laughs> a lime tree. I've been wanting a lemon or a lime tree for so long, but my mom has a lemon tree. So I reasoned that I don't need a lemon tree. She already has lemon. Plus, they didn't have lemon anyways. They were all sold out. So we got that. I got another tomato plant. Um three tomato plants ma'am where do you think you're getting all this space like where do you think you're putting this do you think you have like two acres and a lot and a greenhouse for all this stuff that you're getting ma'am like I'm literally gonna have a jungle behind my townhouse that's pretty much what it's looking like right now but I love greenery I love plants like I love plants so, anywho, just a quick update. I'm for sure going to bring you guys along once we start doing our planting and things like that. That will be later on tonight when the sun goes down because it's hella, 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 hella hot right now. Like, really hot. <sighs> Almost passed the hell out. I was like, we got to go, sir. We've been here for like two hours. We literally left there. We left our basket of plants there, told them we'd be right back went to go grab something to eat and came back to continue to shop like that's what you do on your third day of vacation okay if you plan on not going anywhere 
I say maximize your vacation by doing things that you absolutely love to do. And if that means running around town to four or five different cities to get whatever you need to make that happen, then you do what you gotta do, you know? I'm gonna recompensate since I can't go out of town, I wanna save money, I wanna be good, I don't wanna go anywhere extravagant, then I am going to splurge on the things that I love, so. Um, and we all know that gardening is one of them. So in any case, I'll catch up with you guys later on when I get home and I get situated. It's so damn hot. Like I need to go home and shower and like recollect myself because I'm about ready to pass out. It says it's 85 degrees outside right now, but I'm convinced that my car is lying to me because it's, it's ridiculous. So anywho, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey, I am back. As you can see, I cleaned up a little bit. I took a shower, did my hair. Just threw on a little lipstick, didn't do too much. Just did some skincare. Um, I am about to go pick up the kids from my parents' house. I'm about to go pick up the kids from my parents' house. They have been with them for I think a week now. Um, the kids are very fortunate to get to spend a week with my parents every year in July, which is their anniversary, and they take them to different places. So this year they went to Yosemite and Universal Studios, so they've been gone for a week, and I know they're anxious to come home, and I'm anxious to see them, I miss them, but yeah, so I'm about to go get me a car wash real quick, and then pick them up and then head home and relax for a bit before it's time to get started gardening.
Beautiful. Oh, little squirrel. Hey, little guy. They're chasing each other. <laughs> Playing tag. How beautiful. How do you like chocolate? Peaceful yeah. and serene. You're going to give him a tummy ache.
real rosemary. Absolutely smells divine. I should have brought my little snippers. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get through the trees. I don't want the actual train. I was just trying to get it, the visuals through the trees. You know, I don't care about that. Ooh. Wow, they're coated on the outside. Are they pretty? Yeah. We got little truffles. How cute are these? What does it say? Raspberry? Yours is raspberry, mine is honey. Dark chocolate and honey. Cocoa beans from Venezuela. And mines are from Ecuador. Wow. That's so good. Mmm. Can you taste the honey in there? I can. No. $92? The one that you thought was great? It's not bad, but it's not more than $92. It crap. I like, like rich Pucker, dark red and have wine. all the saliva in mm -hmm. your mouth does it here mm -hmm. no yeah. that's not a good feeling I, it honestly doesn't bother me i'm acquired to the taste so mm -hmm. no it could mm -hmm. be the darkest red and i it, i won't bat an eye mm -hmm. but the sweetest white wine i'll be like i'll do the same face that you just did it's too sweet i don't know how people drink like what are those sweet wines called the, uh, yes, Moscato. Oh my god. No. I will literally probably short of puke if I had to drink Moscato. No. It's too oh, really? Sweet. And you think I'm over exaggerating? I seriously cannot with the Moscato. Thank God they don't have them on this list. <laughs> okay, Moscato and Moscato are just about the same thing. Is it? Is that what Actually, that is? Moscato, I think, is. Sweeter, sweeter than Moscato. okay. I'm not getting that then, but they're both Moscato wine. I mean, uh, grapes. All right, I'll let you get that, and then I'm gonna get the Madeira, and then I'll probably try a different maybe the. Everybody, what's up? Welcome back. Today is day nine of my vacation, and as you can see, I'm here at a spa. I am enjoying myself to the absolute 
coolest. This is probably the highlight of my vacation. Um, I'm here in Calistoga, California, where it is absolutely amazing. I'm doing a mineral pool and a jacuzzi just prior to my mud bath, which I'm super excited about because I've never had a mud bath before. But I'm totally looking forward to it. Um, we've done a little bit of wine tasting so far. It's me and my girlfriend who are here from work. Um, just an awesome Tuesday. Completely unwinding, decompressing, relaxing, and just good vibes. I've had such a great day. My day started at 7 a.m. this morning when I woke up and started getting ready. I was out of my house by about 8.45 and in Napa by 10 o'clock. The first stop was Domaine Shandong, which is absolutely beautiful winery with the best sparkling wines here in Napa, followed by a wine tour, wine tasting at Visa Tui, which is another one of their more popular wineries, and now ending our pampering here at Gold, Golden Haven, Golden Haven here in Calistoga, where they do spa treatments, massages, mud baths, and the like. And once we're done here, we will finish our evening with an absolutely lovely dinner, amazing dinner, um, at 6 p.m. at the Italian restaurant. So I'll definitely catch back up to you guys in a little bit here. I have so much to show you and share with you all. I hope you enjoy it. Have a wonderful day. And we'll catch up again soon.